Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Stephen and this is Wild Frontier Adventures. This channel is about my love for the great outdoors, fishing, prospecting, hunting and exploring everything the wild has to offer. So if you're ready to explore and enjoy the ride, let's dive in together. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you for taking this journey with me. This is part two of a three part series of fly fishing and today we're back at the beach where it all happened. Where I was up on the rocks and my back let go, causing my foot to slip out and get sliced up by oysters. So today I'm back for redemption, back out here to test my skills and see if I can't get a fish on the fly. So we made it in last night, um, I didn't really want to film, it was pretty dark so I didn't really see the point in filming it, but this is essentially camp, it's pretty, pretty simple setup, just a tent and a gazebo, just somewhere for me and Luna girl to sleep in, Luna. I was sort of going to go for a bit, of, bit more of an exploration around the area, uh, there's a lot of really nice looking reefy outcrops uh, we can possibly walk out on and get get a better cast in I didn't bring any food out here either I want to say like a survival but it's not because I'm sort of glamping in a survival situation but I haven't got any food so my plan is to come out here and force myself to actually go out there and catch fish and then I'll do a bit of a catch and cook if I get anything but this morning I tell you what the, the sunrise this morning was amazing from there, I sort of shot out to one of the creeks. The water was too high, and then we tied up a few more flies to use, and the rest of the day is pretty much just a waiting game, waiting for that tide to peel back in so we can get back out there. I mean, you could walk out there, but oh, I struggle enough as it is walking on sand, and I don't want to walk that far. <laughs> so I'll wait for the tide to come in, and then we'll, um, we'll shoot out and have a look and a bit more, be a bit more planned for tomorrow. That's the furthest I've walked in a long time. It's like 100 meters. And all I got in the bag is the bloody, the camera. And I'm struggling. But I grew impatient. It's definitely one of my qualities, impatience. Nah, Luna wanted to fish, didn't you Luna? Do you want to fish? Yeah, she wanted to fish, so. You know, you gotta, you gotta exercise your animals. So I figured I'd take it for a walk down here. But what do you mean? Oh, wish me luck. Still a little bit low for blueies, but might be able to get some queenies or trevally cruising along here, maybe a sneaky bar in amongst all this. So let's go, first cast of the day. Let's go. I got the, the crustacean imitation prawn and crab. Watch out, Luna. Look at that.
size of fish. Oh! Swelly on the, the leader knot. Fish out there, just out past casting distance. Big fish. Out there. Mullet or something, maybe. Oh, fish jumping. Come on. Yeah, it's like a big mullet, I think. Luna, get back. That was a bit dismal, but that tide was ripping in. So I'd literally get like two or three casts and then I'd have to move. And I'm not in the position to try and outrun a uh, fast moving tide. So I'll put that down for now. We'll probably head back down once that tide, that initial push is done. It starts to slack off a little bit more, but I need to get some, um, firewood because I didn't have a fire last night and the mozzies are a little bit only just on the transitioning from uh, light to dark so we'll go get some firewood now and get that piled up and then start try start the fire tonight with the ferro rod no lighters now now it's all ferro rod and then when I get the bow drill going we'll, we'll roll with that but for now I don't feel like blowing my Bum a back out for a bow drill, it can just be the ferro rod. Yep. Thank you to whoever camped here before. I don't have a chainsaw or nothing, and this wood's all nice and chopped up for me. Let's take that back. Yeah! Oh. oh, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Oh. Yep. Oh, that hurt. That's what I mean, but simple thing and then back goes. I've got bite sized pieces now. Yeah. <laughs> Many more trips. started, there was time to relax and reflect on today's events and whether or not tomorrow I'd be able to catch a fish and finally have something to eat.
Only time will tell. Oh, day two. I mean, tide's still up, so a bit windy yesterday, so I wasn't able to get the fly out there, but I'll see how today goes. Then push out to the drying reef and then <clears throat> and see if we can't see if we can't get some blueies or something. I'm getting hungry, so like <laughs> I need a fish. I'm getting real hungry. My dog's not, but she's eating. Just me. But I reckon we should do it right out there. If it's anything like it was the other day, we'll get something, which will be good. Right, up. Let's head out there. Alright, we're back at the, the drying reef now. We're going to punch out and see if we can't pick up any blueies. I mean, the last couple of days have been a bit dismal. Um, it is a new area as well, so we're just just sort of trying to work out what part of the tide's fish and that. So, I mean, give it a couple more trips and I dare say we'll get onto some fish. Because um, they're definitely there. You can see them. And being relatively new on the fly as well has been... I mean, there's been a challenge in itself. Can't get the cast good enough. Can't get my loops right, or I just can't get the fly out far enough. But some more time on the fly and some more time out here, we should be able to prevail with it. You know, just a bit of persistence and perseverance and all that good stuff, and we should be able to should be able to get out there and get some. But I mean, it's a terrible terrible place to be going fishing I mean besides the oyster rocks which I've been cut up on and poor Luna here has been cut up on other than that like this place is amazing it really is all right let's get to it I reckon we might hit this right side first This here is probably like one of the only places that I'd swim because it's too shallow for anything to get up in there and if there is anything up in there you're going to be able to see it. Um, being crockwise is, it might look all pristine and beautiful but I guarantee you there'd be a crock around somewhere. The only reason here is I can see the bottom in that whole little lagoon there. So, I mean it's not deep, it's probably only shin deep but it's enough to cool you off and um, play around in the water for a bit. Out here, no. <laughs> in there, yes. Let's see if there's some blueies. Oh, sketchy. Ah, Luna. Get back. Back, 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 back. Oh, there's a bit of a bust up out there.
Well, all my cameras are dead, so I'm gonna go back to camp and try and charge them for a bit. It is stunning out here, but I just can't get a cast long enough to get the fish. So I'll go back, regroup, and then head back out again. Wish me luck. All right, let's head down for our last afternoon for a fish. Uh, we'll head back tomorrow. Um, obviously, I've got my family at home, and three days so far without food, I am getting hungry. Um, I sort of knew what to expect with it being without food. I've been without food before, but uh, that was in a home sort of setting, coming out here and actually doing, you know, semi-arduous activities is, it, it, it drains you. You see the little swings? Oh, you can't really see them. Too much shade. Stunning out here, absolutely stunning. After what seemed like an eternity, it was time to give up. My back was hurting, I just didn't know what to do anymore. Everything I tried would just fail. I couldn't get the car slow enough. I couldn't get the fly to land in the right place. And by the end, my body, spent. Oh. oh, that's me. I'm done. I'm so sore. I was going to go back down, but I don't know if I'm going to be bothered. I, the energy has just been depleted. Um, it was a good, it was a good few days. Like it was very scenic. The fish are there. They're just out of range for me for my casting at the moment with the fly rod. And I'm spent. I'm sore. I'm spent. <laughs> I'm done. But. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. Until next time, stay wild.